So this is nice and flexible for them. Yeah. But it's still risky. It oh, 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 there's some love. <laughs> Giving Sheepy a ride. Hang I'll on a second. Hang on a second. Since when does the unicorn mount a steed to leave the battlefield? Leviathan should have huh? got on Sheepy's back there. Yep, Kekas is going down bottom. Kabashard could be in a world of hurt. Let's see if he is. Dodges out the spear. Playful Trickster on. That's going to be a flash burn. But we could very well see first blood. And it looks like it will go over to visit Chachi. They haven't ulted anything. There was no gank available. Diamond's still playing to get to level 6. And Eddie again eats a stun from Hillisan. But at the same time, they couldn't pass any further forward without running straight into a zap. Noise has been protecting his carry quite well this game. Oh, he However, he's got there's the, stun. the flash, there is the stun. Eddie flashes out, but he can't escape the buckshot. And Vardax takes him down. Pinoy now on the retreat. Grass at the beginning of the game. Unicorns have been a steady top four, top five team through the entirety of the split. Mm -hmm. Despite yes, the inconsistency. Yes, they've dropped games here or there. But as we said, you know, last week, they won 75% of the games of teams above them and, and lost 25% below them. So. Oh, look at those Kavashad and Chachi. They're going back and forth. Yep. It, up comes the Earth. Let's see if Chachi can finish off Kavashad. However, now that the ult's down... It's tough to get excited for yes. these really drawn out fights. Hit him! Hit him up, with a stick! Up, up, And he goes down. I guess Kavashad just had to take a leaf uh, out of that lane. But working his way towards this Righteous Glory, looking for more engage. And Chachi and Power of Evil, they're just diving in. Yep, Power of Evil. He got the rupture, but it's still very, very hard to take down the tree. Throws on the Vengeful Maelstrom. He's a little bit low to try and get involved in this one. Meanwhile, in the back of it, everything's going a little bit crazy as Diamond picks up Hillisang. There's a twist advance on Chachi. Can he maybe pick one up? Oh, the feast! Whoa. But he won't get the kill, and it comes Betsy for cleanup duty. It looks like he can get himself a double kill. Kikis is going to be able to get away. Here but the unicorn Diamond. stayed oh so long. Diamond coming in! Not enough damage to get it. <laughs> and Leviathan is just freaking out. Yeah, he's not happy with that one at all. Uh, oh, he is happy with that one. Sheepy with the, the unfortunate dive from the Unicorns of Love. Need to clear that vision quickly enough. And Diamond, they're going to set up another dive. Here comes the rocket from mid lane too. Oh, yes it does, oh. but it goes a little wide. Vardax is still going to go down Assault and Battery to finish him off. In comes Visit Chachi. Diamond, he's got the chum the water's on, and he gets taken down. Visit Chachi now, though, in a dangerous situation with Betsy coming in and picking him up. So despite the fact Unicorns are sticking to their lanes well, Gambit is moving between them when engages are happening. Pinoy, he's found Hillisang. Yes, he has. Let's see if they have enough damage to polish him off. Another teleport coming in. The Feral Scream. And their opponents. But the main touch and Pinoy gets excited after picking up Hillisang. Exhaust is down. Gets the zap out. Twisted advance on. Power of Evil trying to salvage something, but he's going to fall. It's Kabashar picking up that kill. If Unicorns want to try to contest this one, Cho'Gath's coming around the side. Diamond has already come on in here. I think it's going to nearly get stolen away. Kick is tried for it, but it's mine at the end of the day. Of a quarterfinal matchup against your, your most likely team, Edward. He's called Kikis. Oh, yes, he's going in. Pinoy's going to launch the rocket. It comes in. Look at that damage as they take down Kikis. Visit Chachi teleports in, looks for Cabo Shard, might be able to find him. He gets blown up, chopped down by Power of Evil. But now Power of Evil's caught as the tower goes down. Hillisang, Diamond turns his attention to Power. Eddie's going to get the kill credit for that one. But a massive Tibbers is going to slow up Gambit for just a moment. And now they're right back to it. Vardag's going down. Pinoy on a Oh, three, but they're at a teleport disadvantage. Here comes a tree from behind. Yep, he uses it. They're going to jump onto Power of Evil. A hook is going to fly in his general direction, and oh, so much damage onto him. Cabo Shard grabs that pick. Power of Evil, or even into Visit Chachi. This could get risky. Gambit, look like they want to pick the fights. There's a lot of damage here on this dragon. It looks like they've just managed to juke it out, but now can they get away? Gambit, they're not offering any battle right here. They're going to wait in the brush instead. No. Spear's gonna come in and connect on Betsy. Here we go, the chase is on as Kabushard moves in, Twisted Advance after he pops the Righteous Glory. Betsy, a lot of damage there. The rocket coming in on Power of Evil. Kabushard is gonna be the one to pick that up, but Betsy trying to get away. However, he's shut down finally at the end. The tick of Ignite was the thing that did it. And now Kabushard picking up a double kill, but Eddie's caught. It's a shutdown as Vardax picks up Pinoy. Edward, he is going to go down. They didn't even need the spear. And a three for two trade this time for the Unicorn. Available and then look for the engage. Oh, uh, Chachi's gonna break the tether. Yes, he does, but he's gonna get hooked in this time as the Chum the Waters doesn't do much of anything, but now Gambit had to be careful to get out of this. Eddie is a little bit low, but Gambit, they're taking this numbers advantage to its logical end. Betsy picks up Bardags, two for none, just like that. 
Um, of course, he does have a Warmogs to burn through as well, so there's a lot of hit points. Speaking of burn through, this dragon's starting to go down pretty quickly here. Gambit, they have to move up if they want to challenge for it, but the Timbers is down. Betsy, he's going to have to Spirit Rush away. There's a Chachi now the target as he was the man in front. Betsy goes in, but he gets chopped by a Jogath, who throws down the Zanya's Hourglass, and they've caught his attention after the fact, but can they win the fight? Power, go Power of Evil goes down. Pinoy gets the kill credit for that one as Kabushark was keeping everyone else's attention. Unicorns of Love are blinking health bars in this, but can they get away. Vardags in the brush trying to stay away from Diamond, but he's not doing a good job. He goes down. Pinoy picks up another. Kikis, the last unicorn standing. He's going to eat a zap, oh. and it looks like it's a matter of time here, Quick Shot. They should be able to secure him down. Twisted Advance, he's going to buy a few more seconds of life, but down he goes. That's the ace, and Pinoy picks it up. Exquisite team fight from Gambit, despite the fact that Betsy dashed into a true damage feast to die. The entirety of Unicorns of Love is in the bottom lane. Gambit will trade Baron. Remember, Empowered Recalls should get them back quick enough to ch to defend the inhibitor, unless Kickers decides to go all in and try and interrupt. Oh, but Betsy is there. And there is Kikis going down. Meanwhile, back to the bottom side. Visit Chachi moving in on Kabuchar. Diamond was there as well for the defense. Chum the Waters not going to hit where they wanted to. Vardax Assault and Battery up, and he's taken down. Kabuchar comes in. Pinoy, he's going to flash forward, looking for even more. They turned their attention. They forgot about Hillisang for just a second, but they didn't even need to worry about it. Pinoy, he's got something more important. He has some fish food on the menu. A triple kill comes in for Kabuchar. Pinoy still on the hunt. Visit Chachi, the last unicorn standing again, and he'll win make it out. The inhibitor turret dropped to about 50%, 20 seconds left before Power of Evil is back up, and all of the wave clear from UOL is in their mid lane and AD carry, who were not available for this fight. Gambit needed the objective, they found it, and now they've got supers in the middle lane. In his pocket, he is just wrecking down through these towers. You can see that power of a Jinx Siege. Gambit, they're just not letting up on the pressure, and Unicorns are in some serious trouble. They are trying to make something happen up top, but now they've actually sent Kickis back to defend this one. There's the flash, the timbers on Betsy, the knockup is going to follow. Inhibitor's very, very low. Power of Evil gets the ignite down, but Betsy's staying alive in power. He throws the Zanias down, but that won't be enough. He gets a feast down. Pinoy, they still take him down. It's Diamond, who's gonna come up with that kill? Meanwhile, Vardag shuts down Pinoy, but he dies himself. Hillisang charmed up. They're going to take him down. Kikis, a double kill going over to Diamond Prox. Kikis is going to fall after this one, and Betsy picks him up. Meanwhile, the top lane, their twisted advance. Is it Chachi? I don't think he's getting away from this one. And I don't think the Unicorns can hold on much longer here, Quick Shot. Three members of Gambit pushing on the Nexus turrets. Well, the Maokai and Gambit dug deep enough to deal with that split push fizz. Cabochard ran with the Chachi around in circles, and Gambit looked poised to take four. It looks like that is going to be the case. The Nexus is going to fall. 33 and a half in. Gambit Gaming have done it. A little bit of a shaky mid-game. You know, Gambit, they didn't have an answer to the split push. They didn't have an answer to sieging. But they did know how they win. 